proud of yourself? Hey, it's proud funny. of myself? It's funny. <laughs> okay. You said he came to pick up Summer, but his PlayStation hooked to the TV. That's what you're saying. I said he came over yesterday. And why was he here yesterday? To come chill with Summer. He back here today at 12 a.m. to pick up Summer. His PlayStation still hooked to the TV. Three days after you told me I had to leave because you needed to focus on you and your career. You got this, dude. I'm not paying for everything. I'm not paying for everything. You, you are not paying for everything. Right. Okay. What you co-parent? What are you talking about? Co-parent? You had a parent in the house. What you talking about co-parenting? I taught her I taught her how to talk. I taught her how to use the pot. I taught her how to walk. And you talking about you had to co-parent with this guy who didn't want to be a parent? You never said that you couldn't be in her life, but quite frankly, we're not going to be together. I didn't want to be with you. You want to be with him. That's why his no. PlayStation hooked to the TV that I bought. No. Why his PlayStation end up here? I'm not going to keep repeating myself. So he came to pick up Summer. already squared away. He came to pick up Summer. That's why his PlayStation hooked to the TV. He came over yesterday to see Summer. Today you said, he, you said and he left his PlayStation. Yes. And he came to pick her up 12 o'clock in the morning. If you taught her daughter how to talk, that means you got with her right after she had the baby. I ain't gonna lie, that sound like you was the rebound. You should have seen that coming. If you out here dating, you start talking to somebody and they talking about they, they're just getting out of a relationship, you're the rebound. And guess what? Hurt people hurt people. Please do not try to be Captain save a because it'll create wounds for you. This is just a reminder for men that scientists have now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. And the only child that can result from those pregnancies are female. So we no longer have any need for you genetically or physically. So, you know, tread lightly. Ladies, how do y'all feel about her and what she's saying? Since I've been on the internet, I'm really trying to understand where this hatred came from. Because right now, the genders are in a civil war. I don't understand where it came from. I wasn't ready, bro. Don't blow your chance. Bro. Did y'all see the banana? How did the banana break? Nigga, you slap me like that. Ain't no fight no more. Meet me in the parking lot. I'm sending you to meet Jesus and the 12 apostles. Abraham, Moses, all them dead niggas we read about in the Bible, your ass is going to meet them. How old are you? 26. Are you single? Yeah. Why don't you have a man? I'm toxic. Toxic. Yeah, I'm very toxic. Is that the only thing? Huh? Is that the only thing? That's what my baby daddy says. <laughs> What's so toxic? Now, oh lord, I want to say something so bad. Um, she got a booty, dude. Think about you. I don't know. What he would say, like you know, from his perspective, that I don't give him enough attention. Like you don't text him back quick enough, or I don't know. <laughs> so how old is your kid? My kid is five. Is dating easy as a single mom? Is it easy as a single mom? And no, because guys are fucking weird. What like, are some of the problems you run into? Like some of the problems I run into, I guess like a lot of them want to just like smash immediately and it's kind of icky. Really? Yeah. Right now, you're running into men who yeah, just I want you for a second. I'm manhandled right now. What do you mean you got manhandled? He like grabbed my hips and he was like, you got too much in the back because he bumped into me. Yeah. You got a lot in the front, too. So, guys, are kind of weird. How old are you? 26. She ain't deserve that. Stop it. Go ahead and stop it. She said that she is single because guys are icky. And all they want to do is smash. If you go back to when he first asked her the question, she said that she's toxic. So, which one is it, babe? Are you toxic? Or is it that dudes just want to smash? Well, I'll go on TikTok, so today I'll be showing, 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 showing y'all where I'm from. In the background, you can see my mansion right there, my one-bedroom mansion. I'm going to flip the camera and move a little closer to my mansion. But yeah, this is where I'm from. We're in St. Elizabeth right now. This is my mansion. <coughs> First story, second story, and my third story. Right here, you can see inside the mansion, this is my um, a table. And that's my queen-size bed and my king-size bed right here. This is my dresser. Ka-ching! 
and uh, yeah, this is the house inside the house. Now I'm gonna take you to the other facilities of my mansion. Right over here, you see we have the playground. Have a one pig over there. Some goats. Yes. Hi, Mr. Goat. <laughs> <laughs> The house I grew up in was probably a little bit bigger than that. It was two rooms, a kitchen, a living room, but it was small. It, it was pretty small. And uh, it was made of wood and galvanized. So go, don't want to speak to the camera right now. This is my bathroom. This their latrine? Porcelain tiles. Bath that has been imported from another country. Yeah, so when you're bathing, you just stand on that thing right there. You put the bath down there. Oh, no, this is where she take a shower. You stand right there, and yeah, you have a bed. Old TV. Because <laughs> we got some new stuff. Right now, I'm taking it to my kitchen. This is my tantrum. I wash my dishes and, 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 and put it on this. Call it tantrum. <laughs> and this is my kitchen. That's my stove. Couldn't I start the stove after work? Hmm? Ah, oh, that's my fireside, and this is my grand uncle Lennox. Could I say something to TikTok? Hmm? Say something to TikTok. TikTok, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can see, we have a lot of trees. It's my rosemary tree, my pear tree, banana. Yes, my cousins live up there. I'm taking it to my bathroom now. That's big gut mango tree right up there. That's my other mansion that's being built. This is my bathroom. That's the latrine. Door, but that's the latrine. My bathroom. Otherwise known as the latrine. Yes, that's the latrine. Step up in the bathroom. I had one of those too. <laughs> Pit tidy. Girl, you better not so open that. This is where you sit down. And, oh, all right. You know? Deal with your business. So, yeah, TikTok. This is where I'm from. Thank you for watching. I guess I'll see you next time. Oh, this is my lemon tree. And holy for other yard space to cover, but we can't cover that in a one go, so. Yay! Where I'm from. Hi, TikTok. I don't want to get all emotional and stuff, but it's really bring back memories. Like, you couldn't tell me we were poor. Like, exactly how she living is how we live. I had a latrine. We had an outside um bathroom where you went to shower. Shoot, when I lived with my grandmother, we had no hot water. So what my grandmother used to do, she, she used to put water in a big metal basin outside and the sun used to warm it up. And then when I used to come home from school, I would just go in there and take a bath. You couldn't tell me that we didn't have nothing, bro. And then I came to America and I don't even think I could live like this no more. I came to America and just got Americanized. It does not matter how pretty you are, how good you look, how dope your body is. A man will not want to be around you. If you got a stanky attitude, mm. if your energy is off, mm. if you're a complainer, mm -hmm. if you always got something to say, mm -hmm. if you're always questioning anything that he does, mm -hmm. a man is not going to want to be... There's a saying, for every bad it's a that don't want her. Even because she got a stink attitude or her energy is just unpleasant to be around. Have you ever been around somebody that has unpleasant energy? You do not want to have sex with a woman that has unpleasant energy, bro. I believe in the transfer of energy when you have sex. And the worst thing you can do is be intimate with somebody who's a succubus. You hungry? Not really. What? Oh, my I don't understand how you people be doing this. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all motherfuckers that eat chicken feet and chitlins and blood pudding and all that exotic shit, slavery ended 200 years ago. We don't have to eat like this anymore. <laughs> you better eat that food. I, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> you better eat it. I didn't want it. <laughs> huh? I'm so I feel you. I feel you, little man. Good. That boy said dinosaur feet. No, boy, it's chicken feet. It's good food. It's gonna make you feel better. It looks like dinosaur feet. This is off a red, raw flow. This is the portion right here. This is gonna make you feel real good. I don't want this. This, is, this tastes like dinosaur feet. How you know what it tastes like? You didn't eat it. Chick chicken legs. 
<laughs> we don't have to eat like this anymore, my people. Chicken feet, chitlins, oxtail. Ooh. Ooh, damn. Damn. I'm going to go ahead and leave the oxtail out of this because um, I love me some oxtail. And you, I don't, you know, that's right. That's right next to the ass. That's right next to the ass. Damn, I'm out here contradicting myself. You can't tell people don't eat chicken feet if you if you eat oxtail, bro. I'm going to go ahead and um, gracefully bow out of this one. Y'all go ahead and keep eating what y'all eating. I ain't giving up my oxtail for nothing. <laughs>